Welcome back YouTube. This is part two of a 24 by seven always on live stream system. So just to recap, in part one, we actually set up an Orange Pi 5 Plus with the Ubuntu image, and then we actually set up a Zurocast, which is a radio station on the Orange Pi 5 Plus, and also the Owncast, which is a private live streaming server on the Orange Pi 5 Plus as well. Both of these are Docker containers running on this device. Next, we actually set up an N100 mini PC that runs OBS Studio that has a HDMI out going into the LinkPi encoder. The LinkPi encoder did the streaming to Owncast as well as the Oracle server. Now, previously, I was actually accessing all these devices through what it's called internal IPs. So actually, I can demonstrate that right now is for example if i go and say 192.11 that's 8080 that's my actual own cast server that's offline at the moment because nothing's streaming to it and we could also go and say and of course here we go again it's um it's not https so it's not secure but this is my azura cast server that we built last time. So as you can see, essentially both these websites that I'm accessing are internal IPs and they're not secure. Uh, correct. Now, what we really want to do is get these secure. We want SSL on them. We want it on a domain name, preferably, so we can actually access them or the internet. Now, of course, you can actually go ahead and expose your IPs to the internet and, you know, have SSL certs installed on it, but that's not really the way I want to do, because in order to do that, I will essentially need to open up ports on my router, which is not my plan. So my plan is to actually use a service called Cloudflare. So what I'm actually going to do for using Cloudflare is I'm going to go ahead and type in, go to Cloudflare. And I'm going to go ahead and log in to Cloudflare. All right, so I'm already logged in to Cloudflare. Great. So now I'm in and I've already got a domain name. So what you'd want to do is go to services such as, uh, you know, Namecheap. Uh, Namecheap is good for buying domain names. So you can actually go ahead and buy a domain name from here. Or you can even go to uh, Hostinger. Uh, which can provide you a domain as well. So what I do suggest is going ahead and getting a domain name from either Namecheap or Hostinger. Once you have the domain name, you can actually come to Cloudflare, Cloudflare, sign up and actually get your domain name on Cloudflare. That's exactly what I've done over here. As you can see, my domain is right over here. So now the next step is what we really want to do is get these two services on secure websites and I'm not gonna I've got one domain name which is amirmash.com so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use subdomains which is what you can use in Cloudflare and get these on secure subdomains so let's go ahead and do that so once you're in go down to zero trust uh, go down to network go to tunnels and as you can see I've got a, created three tunnels over here I've got owncast I've got my radio station, that's my streaming system, radio station. And these two are offline at the moment, is because they're not connected to Cloudflare. So let's start with the radio station right here. So I'm going to actually click on my radio station, and I'm going to click on Edit. Now what you would actually go ahead and do is you would give your uh, tunnel a name, and you would actually go ahead and give it a subdomain. So I've named it as radio.amarmash.com. And if you do have a look at this, you can actually go ahead and select type as HTTPS, put in the uh, URI, which is 192.168.1.111.443. Uh, that's essentially the port for Azura, uh, Azura Cast. Uh, go to additional uh, settings, go to TLS and make sure that uh, no TLS verify is turned on. So that is turned on as well, which is great. And that's really all you need to do. Give it your subdomain. I've called it radio, and that's my main domain name, which is essentially in the dropdown, which is amarmash.com. And that's really all you need to do over here. Now you can go back to that one and then click on the domain, click on edit. 
go back to tunnels and click on edit and now once you're in this page in the edit page rather than going to the tabs that we went to before click on docker so there are several ways to actually get this up and running you can actually choose windows or mac debian or red hat uh, the environment that i'm going to choose is docker and just because it's the easiest to use really i'm going to click on docker and as soon as i click on docker it does tell me gives me the instructions to install and run this connector now this is essentially the code that will connect my um, my application to my subdomain so I'm gonna go ahead and click that copy that one in and now I'm gonna go back to my uh, Ubuntu server where I do have Azure cast and owncast running I'll go ahead and open up a terminal great and now what I'm gonna do is type sudo and I'm going to paste that command, that Docker command. Now I'm going to make a small change over here. And what it actually is, is after the run command, I'm going to actually type in a dash D. And that will tell the Docker uh, container to run in daemon. It'll run in the background. So once we go ahead and run that container, put in my password. And as you can see, it's, it's actually up and running. So if I minimize the server, and if I go back to tunnels, you'll see that my radio station is now online. It's showing up as healthy, All right? So rather than going to this insecure address for my radio station, I'm going to replace this, and I'm just going to type in radio.amarmash.com. And right, we're back there, and we've got SSL all connected. And now I can actually type my username and log in. And there we go. I'm logged into my radio station and I can go ahead and manage it right here. Perfect. So now I'm actually in my station, I can manage it, and as you can see, it's radio.myrmash.com, and even all my public links are all using the subdomain. So that's perfect. So now we're gonna do the same thing for owncast. This is still insecure, so we'll go back to Cloudflare, and we'll click on owncast stream, and I'll go to edit. The same process as before, when you're setting it up, make sure that you name your tunnel, go to the public host name, and I've already set it up, but I'll show you what I've done. So when you're actually in public host, on the public host name page, create a subdomain, so just call it whatever you want. I've called it stream.amarmash.com. The type over here is HTTP, uh, you don't want to actually use HTTPS in this case because it will have a clash with Cloudflare. So just select HTTP over here, but Cloudflare will make it secure. Uh, and type in the IP address, internal IP address of your server, uh, colon 8080, which is a port. And you go ahead and hit save hostname. So I'm going to go back to tunnels because I've already done that. Click on owncast, click on edit. And rather than now going to these tabs, since we've already set it up, Select your environment of choice and I will select, go ahead and select Docker. And once again, I will copy that Docker connector command. And then I will go back to my server right here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and type sudo and I'm going to go ahead and paste that command right here. Once again, I do want this to run in the background because I do want to close out the window and still have it running. So I will go ahead and type in run dash D, enter. There we go. So now I've got my radio station running as well. And if you go back to tunnels, we'll see that is up and healthy, which is great. Go back here and I'll type in stream.amarmash.com and there we go. Now we're looking at my own cast instance and it is secure as you can see and it's on the subdomain stream.amarmash.com. Great, so now all we need to do is go ahead and stream to my own cast server. Now, going back to the drawing, I'm also streaming to my Oracle server right here. And my Oracle server has Restreamer running. And I've done the same thing for Restreamer. Restreamer is sitting on an Oracle server 
and I do have a IP address that it is located. So I can actually access it through my through the IP public IP address, but I'm not going to do that. I've actually got it going through the tunnel right here, and it's actually been on for 155 days because it's not a local server. It is running in the cloud, and I've called that uh, live. So I can just go and say live.amarmash.com and that is my restream server right here. Great. So of course now these are offline at the moment because I'm not streaming anything to them. So what I'll actually do is go ahead and make sure that I can go to my LinkPy encoder, which is also on. I'm going to actually go ahead and log in right here. And there we go. So we do have the LinkPy encoder, I do have Windows, so I've got a computer as mentioned before, which is this N100 mini PC, and I'm sending the HDMI feed connected directly to my LinkPy. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up OBS on my N100 PC. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, I have OBS running right here with the Zurocast music, just like before. So great, now that we've logged into our OBS PC, all we need to do is go ahead and send it to um, Owncast or my encoder. So right now, as you can see, it is a black screen on my encoder. I'm just gonna run and use it on another PC real quick. Now you've got the Windows element over there and all you need to do is go to your OBS, right click on the canvas, Go to full screen projector and send the projector out to owncast server up and running which you've already seen before in the last video but i've got this up and running and it does have a subdomain name a secure subdomain name here which can be accessed by anyone anywhere in the world same thing goes to my restream server that i can actually send out to multiple platforms as well and i also have a player that I can actually use. And this can be embedded in websites. That's what I'm gonna show you next, by the way. So now, as you can see, I've got my Owncast server, I've got my Restream server, I've got the stream going there, and I've also got my radio station up and running. Great. And they're all connected to actual domains and subdomains, which is excellent. So now the next step is, why would you connect it to a domain and subdomain? I think the use case over there really is to use it with a website. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and set it up and use it with a website. So what I've got is I do have a website that's actually hosted on Hostinger. I'm going to go ahead and log into my Hostinger and I'll bring that up. Great. Okay, so I've actually built just a basic website right now. It's still work in progress. What I've gone ahead and done is I've embedded my Restreamer player into the Hostinger's website builder. So you can do the same, actually. It's very, very easy. So all you need to do is when you, if you're using Restreamer, go to Restreamer and click on this little button here that'll open up your player. And now... There are a few ways to embed. You can use a player URL, but I personally prefer using the iframe code. It's much, much easier to embed. So just go ahead and copy that iframe code and you can go back to your actual website. And all I've done here, as you can see, I've got my iframe. So my iframe essentially is I've just copied that the way it was that's the way it's presented and I've just changed the width and the height to a certain size that I wanted to use and so that's all I've done in the embed code and that allows me to embed my player my streaming player onto my website I've done something very very similar with the radio I've also embedded my radio station onto the website as well because now it does have SSL through Cloudflare essentially what I've done is I've gone ahead and put those two in and embedded them and once I do that I can just update my website great 
And now if I actually go to my website, which is the main domain, columnarmash.com, you'll actually see the website here. There we go. You've got my stream and you've got the actual radio station. So that's really the purpose of bringing all the servers that you can self-host at home onto the web and then embed them in websites and access them from anywhere in the world. So really, that's all for this video. Uh, I hope it was informative. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. That really helps me out. And uh, yeah, happy streaming.